Hey, we're going to start with a look at the radar here this afternoon. If you're headed out for lunch pretty soon, you might want to grab the rain jacket. We've got some quick moving showers. They're just going to produce a little bit of light rain. You can see a few of those approaching Lake Geneva before too long. Waterford, you'll see a couple of sprinkles. Again, this is just a little light rain, no thunderstorm activity. Again, as we look at that severe thunderstorm outlook for today, part of our area in that level two risk, and this has been sinking south over the last couple of days. So the high Highest confidence for any strong storms tonight will be from Milwaukee South. It's really just south of 43, so that includes Racine, Kenosha, out towards Lake Geneva. A few isolated storms possible farther north. All of this associated with a big low pressure system that's well to our north. The cold front extending down from that by tonight will give us some lift to help generate some of those storms. And look at the difference in the temperatures ahead of and behind that cold front. It's 80 in Milwaukee mid 80s in Indy St. Louis at 87, but we've got 50s, 60s and 70s on the backside of that front and you will notice a big difference in the humidity and the temperatures after this front comes through tonight. Temperatures across southeast Wisconsin. It's warmer today if you're close to Lake Michigan, 80 in Milwaukee, 82 for Racine and Kenosha inland away from the lake temperatures in the 70s and you do notice that humidity outside today. Dew point numbers well into the 60s and that's in that humid category. It's a little breezy outside. Southwest winds helping to bring in that warm and humid air. We're getting gusts over 25 miles an hour for many of our sites. Look at Sheboygan up towards Fond du Lac. Wind gusts over 35 miles an hour. It will continue to be breezy as we head through this evening right on into tonight. Less wind as we head through the rest of the week though. Future forecast picking up on a couple of those isolated showers that will move through this afternoon. Maybe an isolated thunder shower early this afternoon, but watch late tonight. This is really, I think, the better chance for a couple of storms, maybe a few strong storms. And you can see it's this area again from 43 down to the south. So across parts of Milwaukee, Waukesha, Walworth, Racine and Kenosha counties where we may see a few strong storms. Main concerns with these storms would be, first of all, some very heavy rainfall, some frequent lightning, and we could get some wind gusts to around 60 miles an hour, maybe some quarter size hail. Those are all things that we will be watching closely as we head through tonight after midnight. Any of those storms largely on their way out of here. Here's your seven day forecast uh, again, warm and humid today with temperatures in the 80s for most of us. I don't think we see a lot of sunshine. We'll see as we head through the afternoon how much impact that has on our ability to get these storms to fire. So we will be watching that uh, 70 on Wednesday, much less lower humidity uh, 72 Thursday again on Friday. Chance to see a couple of showers as we head through the upcoming weekend. Uh, doesn't look like a washout at this point, though. That's good. Bit of a change, though. Warmer temperatures, rain. Yeah, good all mix. in there. The front comes through and yeah. then it's going to be a big difference. Oh. Yeah. All right, Kristen, thanks. Sure. Coming up.